Hello guys and welcome back. In today's video, here's the plan. I'm going to replace my catalytic converter because I believe mine is stuffed up. This is why my car is a lot slower than it's supposed to be and also less fuel efficient. Also, I'm going to replace all three solenoids. I got all of them here with me. I'm at my brother's shop, so he actually kindly offered to help me on this little project. Also, because I have steering wheel icon on, on my dash and my steering wheel is hard to turn due to the fact this is electronic steering wheel and it's not a hydraulic one, there is a problem that I'm having and this problem is, I believe it's actually electronic in a sense. I believe my computer needs to be reprogrammed by Mazda because what happens is whenever you disconnect your car battery they actually need to do i think adaptations or perhaps they need to reprogram your computer usually at a cost of 50 dollars from mazda but anyways that being said sometimes the steering wheel icon light comes on due to the fact you overfilled your radiator fluid and it actually goes on your connectors which i will show you in this video so i will clean up the connectors and put everything back if this does not solve the problem and skipping towards the end i know it did not solve a problem uh, my steering wheel icon light is still on hey guys this is what i was talking about you got the power steering connections right here and here's the radiator um this is an overflow tank and this tube is actually short and it leaks it leaks directly onto these plugs and when that happens then the steering wheel icon will come up on your steering wheel because it's uh, electronic power steering and it's not going to start working anymore or well, it's not going to work anymore and that's actually what happened to me um, i had a, a radiator light that came on i added some fluid because everything was fine prior to that and apparently some fluid got into the plugs and now my power steering is not working so a fix for this normally is is you remove them and try to clean this with a contact cleaner and then i guess hope and pray that it's gonna work but i don't know if it's gonna fix it or not i mean it just seems too simple um I'm wondering if it blows a fuse or possibly maybe blows like a resistor but I fear that what happens actually probably burns that computer out hey guys I'm wrenching away on my Mazda RX-8 sorry I'm really not recording uh, step by step videos but my whole plan is to do as least to work as possible and to get as much as possible done so Here's uh, what I have done so far, okay? Obviously, I removed the airbox and I removed the tray that the airbox sits in. And that is this piece that goes at the bottom, airbox at the top, okay? I disconnected this here from the throttle body and I removed three 10 millimeter bolts right here. And right now I'm removing two 10 millimeter bolts for, with the bracket, okay? So my plan is to disconnect as little as possible we're gonna use some jump, uh, jumbo, jumbo cables or whatever to try to pull this up a little bit to give us access uh, from the back to replace the solenoids and hopefully that works. Oh, hold on, where does this go? Oh, that attaches here? Where does it flow? Where does this go? Find the light right here. Now get a normal light. Right here, bring this light. Ah, it's like that, huh? Mm -hmm. That's weird. That's where you put the oil? That's so weird. Yeah, this is actually really good right here. So what I would do, hold it like this. Yeah. There's the solenoids. Got the blue one, but we gotta replace the white one in the center. But plastic is brittle and it breaks like 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 this stuff. Oh, 
Oh man, that's perfect. Yeah, so now you have room. Yeah. Now, look at that. You don't yeah. need to do anything else. It's just yeah. save time. Right away, get some naps, put them in here we so have nothing more falls room in the culture. than a dentist has in a month. Yeah. So always look in there, make sure nothing fell, yep. any metal. Get a napkin, stuff them in here. Just mm -hmm. not get my money, get screwdriver. If your uh, SSV valve breaks off, a little plastic thing, you could just put a screw in it and pull it out. That's what we're doing. But we're gonna go ahead and actually replace all three of them. All we got this thing apart. We don't wanna do this job three times because they're old and new ones is gonna be so much better. But as you can see guys, three bolts there, two bolts there, we got this loose, but the technic would have left it in place. It's in there tight. Oh, it came out a little bit. Good. Can't believe how brittle this plastic is. So which one are we plugging in? Red one. I'm shining the light here, it's not enough light. So this is our red one. in there okay now Maybe this thing here's two more this thing's hard as a rock <laughs> yeah they're done looks like it needs high temperature ones Duck. they keep breaking where did the red go here went here right yeah yeah, it does because you did mark the yellow, and the center yellow one is the center for one. The one that, so let's do the center. center one that we didn't mark yet. That's gonna be the center. New one. New one oh, you know what, dude? Here's what common sense. Look, this is the top plug, and that one's the top plug. Mm -hmm. This is the center one. It goes in the center, and that one's the bottom. Goes in the bottom. That's actually really good how they did that. So you really can't get these things confused. So you got that correct one, right? Okay. To get the flashlight shine it. Oh, I'll get it. So we're gonna we're gonna we know that's the bottom one. Um <clears throat> the, the white one is in the middle. middle. Yeah that'll so we could plug in the the, the white one next. This common sense. Stick that in the center. We're gonna need to lower the. And that's gonna be. It's gonna plug into that center and one.
Go ahead and uh, run the other line. Rubber grommet. The RX-8 is getting a Porsche upgrade. With lines that don't break. Yeah. They don't get hot. They don't get little. All right, let's put this. Here, shine the light. Okay, we're gonna cut another one. Where's the other one? Just the yellow one, right? That's shorty. The shorter one goes in the center. It's roughly this size. Boom, I use the long ones so they can't disconnect. Mm -hmm. You see? Craps don't pull out. Wow. Watch. Right here. Like that, see? Sweet. I want them to ask you how you did it. I wonder who's gonna be asking about it. Okay, now we're gonna lower it. My viewers probably. Bring it here. Collector. Okay. Let me get this off. А мы же еще ту не видели. Кого? Don't worry about that. Now I'll put that in later. Cool. Uh, all I gotta do is clip this one in now because there was not enough leverage. Yeah. That's it, bro. Let's lower it. That's awesome. So, dude, I got the... Porsche upgrades. Dude, why don't we just put another Porsche upgrade here? Uh, for another one? It'll all match. That'd be awesome. <laughs> so, you want me to pull this? Pull on this? No, 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 I don't need to pick it up anymore. No? You got it? There's plenty of room. That'd be cool. Get them all matching. But actually, you already replaced that one. That's another brand new one. Let's do it. I'm just, I'm sticking them in, see? Mm-hmm. Looks, it's professional. I like things to look professional. Yeah, that looks good, man. You've never seen this before? It's Porsches. No. They have, you can get you white or black lines. Honey. Yellow? Yeah, that's why I hate gloves sometimes. Is that the center one? Huh? So you're done. Awesome. Right, let's start pulling your bolts in. Great. Nice, huh? Oh, yeah. Thanks, bro. Yeah, Porsche stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not going to fail now because all these other things are hard, man. So all vacuum lines are upgrade, upgraded to Porsche lines. So we're going to be doing good now. We're going to be firing up on all two cylinders. Two cycle engine oil premix should, should be running faster than a lot more. This is the original radiator, uh, excess fluid drain, whatever. Look how small it is, and it leaks on these um, contacts right here for your parts steering. This is an upgraded version. Basically, you take that and you just route it towards the front, it's away from the fans. It would be a good idea to put like a little bungee, uh, not a bungee, zip tie right there to keep it from maybe wind blowing it and then it's gonna get in your fans, so. So there it is, it is not zip tied, so if a little wind blows on it or something, it's not gonna come up. And if I overfill this tank in the summertime, 
no problem. Um, as I was trying to replace the uh, SSV solenoid, I discovered that this is actually broken. It was broken over here and a little piece was stuck. You can't see it because this is the way it's on. So it was pretending like it was connected. Like, you know, if you imagine it's, it's connected like that, you can't really see it, it's broken. So when I pulled it off, you could tell this plastic is super, super brittle. And this pipe, it's like it's like a plastic pipe inside of a plastic pipe, it's a little crazy. So we're gonna actually update that real quick. Let's stick another one in there. So we just installed this metal connector here. And now we're gonna replace this pipe connected here. No more broken pipe, no more air leak. Smoke test, and it is not smoking. It means Snoop Dogg does not live in here, not in this engine, not in this intake. So it's not losing any smoke. So now I just need to put the air box back. We gotta wait a little bit because it's still pressurizing. Oh, okay. Maybe I spoke too soon. <clears throat> There's a lot of brittle plasticky pipes here. What, is it coming out your tailpipe or something? Yeah, <laughs> probably. Let's yeah, see. It is? It is? Mm -hmm. So that's the problem. It it's coming out of the tailpipe. Let's just check up on you if you can go out. It's fine. <laughs> no, it's fine. Okay, good. So you're done. All right, just got to put the air box back. Okay. Baby fur now. 